Hello there, my crafty friends. I don't know what's going on with my phone. <laughs> well, let me just give that a second. How is everybody doing? I just realized I'm on the wrong Wi-Fi network. That's why it's not connecting. Uh, how is everyone's week going? Can you believe it's already Wednesday? It is August 11th at 7.30 p.m. Just changing out my Wi-Fi here. Hi, Roz. How's everyone's Wednesday going? Mine has kind of been a mixed bag. I got a surprise in that my daughter and her boyfriend drove overnight to get here. So they're here for a visit. And that is awesome. I don't know how long she's going to be here. Probably for a few days. They brought their puppy and he's so adorable. He's out right now, so I can't show him to you. But he's the tiniest little schnauzer shih tzu. I don't know what that mix would be called. Um, but I had a job interview today. Did not go so well. I felt like it went well, but I was not the successful candidate. So moving on, we're putting that behind us, not letting that wreck my daughter's visit. I am going to flip this around. Hello, hello everybody. Uh, so funny story, remember my doctor's appointments and the whole debacle thing? So I went and got my blood work yesterday. Results were already in this morning. I already had a message from my doctor. So I'm going in Friday morning at 9 a.m. There are some concerning things on my blood work and it's so cool because he sends it. So now I'm like, what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? Let's take it to Dr. Google and figure it out. So I, let's flip this around and Hello, Feline. I think you have a team meeting soon, don't you? I am going to make it just a half an hour tonight because my daughter's here. She's having a shower right now, so we can do that. Uh, I have a few options for you. I'm going to show you some of the recent projects that I've done that don't have a video or a tutorial, so you can let me know. Uh, Instahop was, was that yesterday? Today's only Wednesday in a way, but I took the rest of the week off, so it's like Friday. I'm not back to work until next Tuesday. Okay, so I made this little guy using the Nuts About Squirrels stamp set. It's a very cute fun fold. So it's got this punch opening, which I have been dying to do since I received a swap like six months ago. It's got the stitched greenery on there. And then look, it's so cute. And then I made my peanuts. So, hi Barb, hi Dawn. Uh, we'll see Ross. We shall see. My iron is always in the toilet. That's nothing new. Uh, thyroid, which I've been saying for years, what if my normal doesn't fit within the normal range and it, it was not. So I'm like, finally, thank you blood for showing that there's something wrong. Okay, so we've got squirrel. <laughs> squirrel syndrome like me. We have got a swap card that I did using the sweets and treats. So you're just going to tell me what it is you want. Hi, Susan. We have got a sample that I made for my team meeting last night using the time of giving. Is that it? Time of giving. Look at that. There's so many new names to learn. So the bedazzling paper, which I learned in the last 24 hours, there are a couple of things in celebration that are limited quantities only. When they run out, there's not going to be any more. So the sheep dies. If you don't already have the sheep dies, get them now before they're gone for good because you can get the stamp set after. Stamp sets are made in Utah. So they're like guaranteed, but the dies and the bedazzling paper are not guaranteed. So get the shaded, oh, what are those dies called? They are, they coordinate with the shaded, they're right here. Why don't I just look? The Summer Shadow dies. You want to get these right away because they're not guaranteed either. So sh Summer Shadows, uh, Sheep dies, and the Bedazzling Paper, which is going to be a problem for me if it sells out super fast. But look how awesome that is. I know that Stampin' Up! shared the other day that you can color the Bedazzling Paper with alcohol and re but you can also use Stampin' Blends, which is so much easier. And look at the inside. Uh, watch my blog post for tomorrow because I have something using this paper that you are not going to want to miss. It's awesome. So that was the one, the sample that I already had. And then when we were doing our mystery stamping, this was the one I created. 
Now when I created it last night, I didn't have these stitched snowflake dies, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Love it. Okay, so squirrel, swap, team meeting, either fall or snow. And then one, hi Sharon. Oh, looks like the squirrel's gonna take it. Hi Melanie. This is one that while I was creating my samples for bingo, which is coming up on Sunday, September 5th, the deadline to register is Sunday, August 22nd. You're not gonna wanna miss it. We play six games of bingo. There's three make and takes. They are all holiday themed, but they are different holiday colors. So this again is using that bedazzling paper and this is the Bright Baubles bundle, but using the, what is it called? uh simply elegant dsp isn't that stunning and then it's a little fun fold with a stitch rectangle in there okay so let me know what you want it's looking like squirrel is going to be it thank you cheryl okay so we have one for snow we have like three for squirrel maybe even four three okay Oh, and I don't think I showed you the inside. So I will say pool party didn't go as well as I thought. This is dark pool party with a little bit of light Bermuda Bay in there just to make it look a little more blue. But if you don't have this well-defined snap set yet, you're gonna want it. I know I've already convinced Melanie. So that same sentiment stamp set is in both these cards. I am truly addicted to this bedazzling paper. Two for, oh, snow is taking it. Four for snow, three for squirrel. Okay, I think we'll take the rest of these out. I love them, but I kind of love everything that I do that doesn't end up in the garbage. Because believe me, there are some where I'm like, nope, there's just no recovering from this. Oh, we got one for pumpkin. Uh, the shipping cost for Bingo Jennifer is going to be, I think $16 is the maximum. So if it's less than that, I would refund you your money for that, but $16. Okay, so while we're waiting, got one more for Squirrel. I wanna show you these Stitch Snowflake dies because I actually missed them in the catalog. I didn't see it. And I think it's because the stamp set that goes with it wasn't really my cup of tea. So I didn't order the stamp set. I only ordered the dies, but these are the stitched snowflake dies. I don't think that one goes. This one goes with that. There are so many dies in here. And I went ahead and die cut each one except this so that you could see up close because if like me, you missed it in the catalog, you can see. So I added two of the snowflakes here. So that is this one and this one. I've got this one, like look at the detail, isn't it gorgeous? And then we've got these three that are, they all have the outline. So you get a double, like you get a stitched outline on your negative. So there we go. That one didn't end up in the center, but that's okay. We've got this one. We have a red one, which is this one here. I ran out of my white scrap. And then this long guy here, look. You can see through it. Now I would run it through again to get rid of the imprint, but I wanted you to see these because I totally missed these. And I mean, stitched? Yes, please. Hi, Karen. Pumpkin. Squirrel. I think, are we tied for squirrel and snow? I think the next one that chimes in is going to be the winner. I was also going to give you an option of a watercolor card tonight, but because I want to keep this to about half an hour, I opted not to. Can anyone give me a tally? Okay, next person. Okay, squirrel it is. So this one was super fun. I mean, they all were super fun, but this was inspired by Dawn Griffith of Dawn Stamp and Dots. I find so many amazing projects from her. So we need a top or a side folding card base. So I'll grab that. And then for our basic white, we need 
oh, what is, I think, I want to say it's five and three eighths across, but let me not guess. Let me actually, yeah, five and three eighths. And it is, was it? I just measured this. It was three quarters. I want to say it was five and a half. Four, yeah. Five and three eighths by five and a half. And I can just reach. A uh, quick update, if you signed up for, let's do the five and a half first. If you signed up for the end of summer celebration with me, I have one more set of cards to make and then they are hitting the mail. My paper shares, product shares are all ready. The last item arrived today. The red velvet paper was on back order, but it arrived today. So those can hit the mail. Uh, the five and three eighths is going to be the width. So we are scoring this at half an inch. Uh, let me double check. I don't want to mess this up because that was three quarters, right? Three quarters for each of them. So let's do the first one and that will be against the back. Uh, the other thing is festivity delivered. That will be going out shortly too. I have to type up my part of the tutorial tonight and then I think it will be ready to go. Uh, for festivity delivered, Tiffany, thank you, Carol. <laughs> Melanie's like, squirrel! Okay, so this one comes down. We're going to do a mountain fold and then a valley. Uh, so Tiffany and I are just trying to figure out when it's going to work. Typically what happens is, is that, that's right. Typically what happens is festivity delivered follows the same schedule as blends. However, because the end of summer celebration is that last weekend of August, that is not going to work. So we had the option of August 22nd which is a little bit close. I mean, I'd have to get the kits done like today and then out in the mail and that's not going to happen. Or we can't do September 5th because I have bingo that day. So it is looking like it might be September 4th, which is Saturday. Uh, I'm going to do five, four by five and a quarter for my mat. And I need to grab my stitched greenery. Ooh. that is really on there so that's not one that I can just reach for so what I like to do is just line it up and make sure that it's covered this does leave quite a few impressions on your plates but it's worth it it's totally worth it can't think of anything new and exciting to tell you other than what I've already said. Sometimes I do feel like I'm just talking the entire time. So by the end of it, I'm like, oh, I don't even want to hear me talk anymore. But maybe in case you've been living under a rock, it is our second celebration. This is the first time we have ever, ever done this. I'm not sure if this is going to fit, so just bear with me for like two seconds. Because I didn't know what I was making, I couldn't grab everything. Um, th so this is the first time that Celebration is happening twice in the same year. Uh, there's a fantastic join offer, so if you've ever thought about joining Stampin' Up!, if you join between now and the end of September, not only do you choose your $165 in product for $135, this is in Canada only. Every country has its own prices and whatnot. Um, $135 free shipping, you choose $165 in product, but you also, during celebration, get a free bundle. And I would highly recommend one of the expensive ones, like the $70 to $80 range, because you're getting it for free. And then you can purchase the less expensive bundles using your new discount. Okay, so 
from here, you can see that I just used stamp and seal. I will tell you that my label me, is it fancy or pretty? I can never remember. I'm going to say this is the fancy one, but I could be wrong. Mine kind of sticks right in there. So I'm going to push it in as far as I can and then punch. And you end up with two great tags that you can use for something else. Obviously you can't stamp a sentiment on there, but you could certainly add a banner. And then it sticks. I should just replace this, but I don't use it all that often. Come out! <laughs> Open sesame. There we go. They're pretty durable. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, did you enjoy your visit with your sister, Jennifer? It was just over the weekend, right? Uh, now, before I go too far, I do want to, we can kind of push that down, but I would suggest that before we adhere this, I don't even remember how I did it the first time. We're not going to adhere this part yet. We're going to do the back. I think I just said opposite of what I actually meant. Oh, and I, this is a little bit too wide. What do you want to bet I went on the five and three eighths? Yep, instead of the five and a half. So this is gonna be five and three eighths by five and three eighths now. So it might come a little bit further up than the other one did. But what we can do is adhere the back, close it up so that we know exactly where we're marking it. The other option is we can line it up we can draw a pencil mark and then figure that out. But I am going to use some tear and tape and just wing it. That is awesome. It's so nice to be able to see people again. Now with my daughter, she moved to Calgary in at the beginning of June. So she's just been gone two months, but it's her boyfriend's birthday today. And his family was so upset that they weren't going to see him on his birthday. So she was going to fly out on the weekend, like this coming weekend. And then they just decided last night that they were gonna drive. So they left last night, they got here early this morning and he flies out tomorrow and then my daughter drives home with their puppy. Okay, so this is where we want to close it. Now we can do it just like this. So I need my stamp set, my mini catalog collection is growing. Do you see the section between the peach bath salts down there, down there? <laughs> That's all mini catalog. I am obsessed. Okay, so we are using the sentiment that says, hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. Make sure that is down where you need it to be. I'm really only concerned with where the sentiment is going to go because I want to be able to see it through the opening. If the leaves don't fit there, that is okay. I'm going to use crumb cake. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Crumb cake, we're gonna stamp that. And then for the leaves, we'll use uh, Bumblebee and Cajun Craze. That coordinates with the Beauty of the Earth DSP, which I put a little strip of there. We need to stamp our squirrel, and I think I might stick with the Cinnamon Cider because I just love the way it looks. This little squirrel is so cute. And if you missed it, Last week on my YouTube channel, I shared this little box that uses the nuts about squirrels. It's a cute little treat box that uh, once the belly band is off, you just pull this forward. So if you would like to make some of those, head on over to my YouTube channel. Not at this moment. <laughs> Not right at this moment. Okay, let's do these leaves so that I can adhere this next part. So there is one leaf and one outline. This week's video was that triple flap card that I 
completed with you last week. I didn't start from scratch. So if you want to see how I made that, you can head on over. Hello, Pam. Thank you for sharing. Aw, thanks, Roz. Okay, so again, I'm going to close this just to make sure that it's visible. But like I said, it's not crucial that we see these leaves perfectly. I don't know why I just closed that. So like I mentioned, I have a blog post that's going live. Why did I take that off? I have a blog post that's going live tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh, I am in love with these projects. And I was working ahead, which feels so good. I need to remember how good it feels and stay ahead. Okay, that is going to be a little close. So I am going to stamp this one without, like with the card closed. That's the word I'm looking for. But I am just, I'm so thrilled with how it turned out. And I think I am going to leave my product shares open for just a few more days and then call her done. That, I think I probably used Soft Sway the first time and didn't have my phone in the way. Those did not go where I wanted them to at all, but c'est la vie. So that is all of the stamping on the inside. These are just, I'm gonna show you how to do those quickly, but let's do our hay there. That could actually be stamped after the flap is adhered but I remembered so let's just do it the right way I'm going to grab a little scrap of beauty of the earth I don't have a whole lot of this paper left nothing in there that'll work Ooh. I love all these earthy tones. I don't know that I'm gonna have a whole lot of options for what I use here. So let's just go with the one that's in my hand. I mean, it's, it's not the perfect colors, but it'll do. That was three quarters, so let's go five eighths. I need new blades on my paper trimmer, which is why I'm using this little one. Great, I need another punch. You know what, let's just banner this by hand. I was thinking today I have a fun little giveaway prize that I am thinking of doing and I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. Do I want to do it where if you sign up for one of my events, you get your entry? Do I do it where if you make an order, you get an entry? I know that excludes a lot of you and I'm so sorry. Sometimes I wish that we could sell anywhere in the world, but then I also know that with that, <laughs> there's a lot of people to be able to shop from. So. I think that for a second and I'm like, wait, no, <laughs> that's too many people to choose from. So I'm trying to figure that out, but I've got a graphic nearly ready to go. So I will post that on my blog and then share it to Facebook. Okay, let's pop that down. I'm going to make sure that it goes. I want about the same margin on the three sides. Whoa. Okay, so now We'll use tear and tape again. It feels so quiet. I think this is why I end up talking so much because when it's uh, live, I mean, I don't get to actually speak to any of you, but I'm just filling the silence. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically just lay that down and press it and then it's going to go where it's supposed to go so it is a little bit further back than it was on this one but that's because I cut that at I scored it on the wrong side it should have been at the five and a half mark not the five and three eighths so you could put another little strip 
of DSP down there. This one isn't long enough. Uh, so let's do our squirrel. I love that we can stamp this and color it or we can stamp it and just fill it in. Because I mean, there are times where you don't have time or you just don't want to color, right? I mean, I feel like I always want to color, but we are going to stamp this with cinnamon cider for both the outline and the um, filler. Yes, Crystal, you could cut it off. It would mean that the inside is a little bit shorter than the outside, but I think DSP would probably be the easiest fix, but I'm not concerned. There's bigger issues to worry about, right? Uh, I don't know if you have this set, but I have found that using the filler can be tricky. So I like to line it up, get an idea of what needs to line up. You can't even see what I'm doing, can you? Let's put that away and that away. So you need to line up the ears and then I find that lining up the feet is the best way. If you don't get it perfect, it's not the end of the world, but I do recommend that you don't take too long because the ink starts to pool like that. Now, if I were really concerned, I would go in and color that with my blends. I think what I'm going to do is just stamp it again. And he's going to be like almost Cajun crazy. <laughs> I think I said that last week too. Hello, Karen. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Yeah, Crystal, I don't know if it would, if it bothered you, you could cut it off. You absolutely could. Now, the crummy thing is there's no dies for this. Um, so I will fussy cut that, but I want to show you how to do these peanuts because I was so proud of myself for figuring this out. I went through every single stamp set that I had trying to find something that was like a peanut because I don't know about you, but the squirrels in our area, they eat peanuts, not necessarily acorns. So I'm like, okay, there has to be a way that I can make a peanut because my son's allergic to peanuts. Every time we go into the front yard, the flower bed, whatever, there is always peanuts in there. So we'll get some crumb cake cardstock. This is so awkward having a wired mic, but the sound is way better, isn't it? Okay, we're just gonna use that little scrap. Any guesses as to what I used? There was one set of peanuts that I used dies on and one that I did punches, and the punch was by far the easier method of the two. So let me just set this down for a second and I will go get the punch. Any guesses before I show you? Have fun, Karen. Hi, Cheryl. I think you're all heading off to your team meeting. Say hi from me. You get to see my chins. Okay, I am just going to go ahead and do this. So I use the ice cream builder punch. I might just go through and make one peanut. Mm, let's see, we'll do it this way because then there's not a lot of waste. So you're going to take it and punch it. The other way that I used was the border dies, the background dies, and I used the clouds and kind of just offset it. Never a post-it note right there when I need it. Okay. So instead of trying to line that up, just use a post-it note. And do you see what I'm doing here? I'm not gonna do all three because it's the same thing, but I wanna show you the stamp set that I used because you could do that, but does it really look like a peanut? Not so much. So I used the host stamp set, Natural Textures. And I used, I, th I tried using that one and it looked too much like a fingerprint, so I used this one. And then I had one more little trick up my sleeve. 
and look at that we're like right on the half hour mark not bad considering how much i yap at the beginning hey okay now if you want to do this part before you go ahead and punch them you could just stamp a whole bunch of cardstock and make a whole bunch of them i'm just going to do the one but the thing that really made it look a little more believable was taking my crumb cake stamp and blend and just going around the outside so we usually use our stamp and write marker to do this and you could but i found that the blend went a little bit farther because it's got a much bigger tip and it just helped it look a little more realistic Now, because you've got the full sample to see, I'm not going to finish all these. But if you want to see our, um, oh, and a couple of the, so this is an Artistry Blooms. Nope. Am I lying? I think I'm lying. This is the sequins for everything. So the orange ones. So I just put glue dots on the back of them and that was it. I always use glue when I do sequins and I'm like, why haven't I been using glue dots? some of them are a little bit big like this one I had to use a half one but like I was saying if you want to see all of the adorable critter cards that we made on yesterday's insta hop head on over to Instagram you can start with mine stamped AF and it will take you to Lou Kitzelman and then it'll go through I didn't count how many there were this time but there's probably about 10 and they are all the cutest critter cards uh, I can't remember what we're doing next month, but the 10th of each month is going to be an Insta Hop. There's a theme. It's not a certain bundle. It's a theme. So everyone does their take on that theme. And this month it was critters because we have so many cute little critters. Okay, so I'm going to call that a night. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Crystal. Uh, hi, Jenny. Thank you. Um, 802. Not bad. And I hear my daughter's out of the shower. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to go have a visit with my daughter and we'll see you soon. Bye. Always forget where I'm going for this button. <laughs>